Dayton uses the skate and he holds the zone. They push it to Drury. Drury got it across. Podorowski hesitates, waits, gives and curls towards the boards. Knocked down. Now Nason drives in. And a shot from the wind. They score! Jack Drury! Nason with the setup and the wall strike on the power play. Joey Keane carries it in for Chicago. Off the wall, broken up. Emilio Peterson wards off one. Out to center to the captain. Freeze dumps it deep. 3.55 left in the first. Chicago still with a 1 nothing lead. Kochekov lost it. They score! Off the backhand. Jacob Peltier grabs the loose puck. And with 3.52 left in the first, we are square and one here in game four. Uh, apologies, that's Martin Pospisil who grabbed the loose puck. Phrase on the forecheck, forced it away from Kochekov. He completely misplayed it, and Pospisil came in and grabbed it. Scored five power play goals on 12 opportunities, and they also have the advantage at even strength. Wolves work in, here's Nason. Fires into the slot, Podorowski shoots, he scores! Andrew Podorowski gives the Wolves a 2-1 lead on a second assist of the night for Stefan Nason. What? We're underway in the third period. We'll get to more of those responses if they become available. A huge third period for the Wolves trying to punch their ticket back to the Calder Cup Final. They enter in with the one goal lead and here's Nason with the puck. Two assists tonight, champion oh out in front. Goodness. What a save by Wolf. Nason nearly at his third helper as he threads the needle and Chatfield was just too in tight. Went to head by Panik. Never got out, came back to him. Now D. Simone has it, and Panik takes it away from him. Panik has a breakaway, in all alone, shoots a save by Wolf. The puck to the quarter boards. Oh. So he had to do it the second time. David Goss awaits, never got to him. Now Gus breaks it up, mm. chopped and poked ahead by Drury. Gus is going to be the first one on it. Three on two for the Wolves. Gus drags, put it out in front. Levo shoots, he scores! 3-1 Chicago. David Goss with just a delicious dish to the Calder Cup's leading goal scorer, Josh Levo, who now has 10, and the Wolves lead by two. And the Wolves are that much closer. The hill just became a little steeper for Stockton if they want game five tomorrow. Play to Kochekov. He turned it over. Phillips to drive knock. Rebound. They score! Right back at it. It's Justin Kirkland. And with 14.56 left in game four, the Heaters still alive. They're down three to two. Just seconds after it. Blocker side of Kochekov. Face off, won by Fraze. Back to the blue line, Valimaki, tight ropes, shadow by two, gives way to DeSimone, DeSimone, fires, stop, pucks loose, he scores! Glenn Gordon ties it up with 48.2 seconds left, we are tied at three! Oh my! Glenn Gordon, his first goal of the Western Conference Final, and my goodness did he pick a hell of a time for it! And we are not done yet! Valimaki wards off his assailant. Hands off to Kirkland. Kirkland fakes the shot. Back for Valimaki. Valimaki, Phillips to keep the season alive and his shot's blocked. And the shot is still not out. Kept in. Valimaki, Gordon for the win. He scores! Glenn Gordon has done it! And the Heat live to fight another day! We're going to game five tomorrow night! We will see you in Stockton Arena tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Glenn Gordon, the hero in overtime, the hero in regulation, and the Stockton Heat are not done yet.